My name is Alistair Rutledge. I'm from the University of Leeds. I'm a professor in the Department of Applied Mathematics, and I work on uh, nonlinear differential equations. In uh, today's uh, podcast, I'd like to talk about second order linear homogeneous differential equations. So we'll, we'll go through what all those words mean uh, with uh, an example. So let's take, for an as an example, the differential equation a times y double prime plus b times y prime plus c times y is some function h of x. So y is supposed to be a function of x, and y prime, of course, is a shorthand for dy by dx. That's a second order differential equation because it involves two derivatives here. y double prime is d squared y by dx squared. It's linear because there are no f things in there like y squared or y times y prime or anything like that. And as I've written it, it's inhomogeneous. That inhomogeneous means y equals 0 is not a solution. Okay, and that's because of this h of x. So what I'm going to be talking about today is the case where h is equal to zero. Now, uh, there's a well-known technique for solving this differential equation, and I could just introduce it to you uh, without giving you any sort of uh, justification for why it works, but what I'd like to do instead is uh, solve the similar problem for a first-order equation, and then you'll see perhaps uh, better the reason for uh, the method that we're going to use. So let's take a first order linear homogeneous differential equation. So for example, uh, something like y prime plus y equals zero. So that is a first order equation because it's y prime, no y double primes in there. And it's still linear because there's no products of y with itself or y times y prime. And it's still homogeneous because of that zero on the right-hand side. And that, that's an equation we know how to solve. We solve it, uh, for, well, one way you can do it is, is bring the y over to the other side. And that's y prime equals minus y. We can divide by the y. y prime over y is equal to uh, minus 1. And uh, now we integrate both sides with respect to x. So that's integral of minus 1 dx on the right-hand side. Now, the in y prime is dy by dx, so d dy by dx dx becomes dy, and this integral becomes dy over y is equal to minus x plus a constant. dy over y, that's an integral we can do. That's logarithm of y. Of course, that's natural logarithm there. And now we can take the exponential of both sides, and you get y is e to the c times e to the minus x. And if we write this e to the c here, uh, well, c is supposed to be an arbitrary constant, so e to the c is another arbitrary constant, so we could call that, say, k e to the minus x. 